Hello everyone, in 22 days, a big day, election, there's already people that already did the vote and mail it in, you can do that too, over probably a million votes already casted, so, 22 days, oh my god, I'm sorry that I missed a couple days, but I gotta tell you, my microphone my camera is acting up uh and hopefully i can figure it out how to do that how to fix it but before the camera froze on me i was listening to a reporter that asked joe biden about packing the court Pretty much he say uh, that we don't even deserve to know if he's gonna park the court or not. And the other thing was about saying, oh, Trump is the one parking the court. <laughs> you know, this is gonna be the third uh, justice that Donald J. Trump nominates for the, for the for the Supreme Court and most of them are conservative so he's saying because Donald J Trump that is the president until January 20th the last day if the people uh, elected him he goes for another four years it's not that's the last day so he is still our president for those days. And this is something that I say that is gonna take maybe some attention because this channel is a channel that we do the rosary and we send the gospel every day, pretty much Monday through Saturday. And we follow Jesus that is the one that we follow and we go all the way but also what we do here on earth we gotta say oh what about this what about what you did uh on this part of the other part you know and we gotta we gotta answer everything right so we're gonna be judged and all of that so one of the things that is really, really saying something about, and I know I did a video about Article Two, chap, uh, Section Two of the Constitution, and I put it on the on the screen, and we read it, and, and, and we all agree that the president that is sitting right now, he's the one who nominates an empty seat. It is an empty seat. So. Right now, the whole spin was, oh, now we're gonna lose healthcare. Oh, we're gonna lose. And today, I was looking at the way they started it, showing all these pictures and everything. Oh my God, they're going all in. But, but, I'd say, what is wrong with this picture? And one of the thing is why they go for, and, and I believe that people with pre-existing conditions, you know, hey, listen, $500,000, if I cannot pay that, I will die. But if I have a plan that can pay that, I can stay alive. And, and, and it's just, I bet you, if the left fight for each individual, until that moment with their teeth with everything I would have say well, why they don't do the same thing with the baby inside the mother's womb and now in that they call it no 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 the mother has the right to decide that that's killing that it's killing and now because of the uh, Supreme Court now they're going more to the conservative side they are screaming and pulling their hairs and everything 
one of the things that I wanted to wrap it up is this don't lie don't tell people that the Republicans are the one pack in the court because right now it is an empty seat and right now we have a president and now we have a Senate that is the majority of the Republican so why are you lying to people it is you are going beyond stupidity and you know uh the father of the lies is the devil and i know people are gonna be like oh what oh he just called uh the a candidate a devil this if you lie you are in bed you know with the liar and the father of the lies is the double so you catholics out there they are dancing with the devil pretty much you gotta think about it are you at the end of your time in this earth wants to take with you that you vote for somebody that is not a pro-life person i don't think so in my case i would have never do such a thing but listen we're not gonna tell you for which person to vote in elections you have the freedom of doing it but are you really gonna risk your eternity for a boat to this hypocrisy when the in the wounds there's life and because the mother all the way up to 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 almost the birth in new york now they're doing that and they just applauding and they say yes that's killing and what are we doing what are we saying we're staying quiet and it's time that everybody knows and wake up hey listen who am i nobody i'm just a, a concerned citizen just a concerned citizen and i know who i'm getting fired from the other side that friend you were fine doing the rosary and this but now you're becoming a politician actually i'm not really coming a politician no but if i see something that somebody up there is lying especially with the supreme court and the constitution and he's saying those things listen we have really we really had to pray harder and harder for joe biden he is a person that is baptized in our faith and in our faith if we see that if we see that he hurt us too because it's just going beyond beyond our values beyond our faith and and that really stinks so i don't know if this is gonna be good for you to think about it if you haven't bought yet listen don't take that with you i just uh concerned citizen from junkers new york efrain rodriguez ortiz may the peace of the lord be with you and the virgin mary help you to get to heaven amen <laughs>